Hello chess lovers, Solid here and in today's video we are going to analyze the 8th game of 2023 World Chess Championship match using a supercomputer. King Leon is on the white side and he opened up with d4. Nepos answer was knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop d4. Nimzo in the defense is on the board. By the way, we can also switch to the opening tree in order to see what are the most popular moves. Bishop d3 is the most popular move. In the game we have a3, the so-called Zemish variation. Well, this is of course a choice. Uh, it's up to you which line to choose. C5, B6, D6 are popular in the game. We have the third most popular continuation. And Knight E2, the second most popular line. White Knight goes to G3, Knight C6, and it was in here that King Liren made a novelty and played Rook A2. Let's turn to our stockfish and we can see that rook a2 is the top move. As you know, my stockfish 15.1 is running on Chessify's powerful cloud servers and the speed goes beyond 1,100,000 KNS and only in that case we have rook a2 line suggested by engine. A novelty on move 9 and you know what's the interesting thing? If I turn to my laptop engine, well, my laptop by the way is a pretty strong one, it's gaming Lenovo Legion 5 the, and if I turn Stockfish we can see that Rook A2 is not among top lines. Yeah, the strength of ordinary laptops or strong laptops is not enough to come up with that highly created novelty Rook A2. Uh, by the way, probably you have heard about the leaked training games which were supposedly played between Ding Liren and uh, Richard Rappert and that Rook A2 was among those games it was played once on Lee Chess. Okay, let's proceed. So Rook A2 awaiting move at the same time in some cases White can switch his Rook into the game from the second rank. Bishop A6, Bishop G5. Uh, you can see that uh, Ding Liren is making top moves H6 and here we go h4 again the top move a temporarily piece sacrifice which black accepted and now yeah black has to hurry to give up uh, back the piece otherwise if you move away your knight then this queen h5 can land and you can find yourself in a, a difficult situation and then ding plays e5 again the top move d takes e5 d5 the second most popular continuation Ding is playing very accurately, you know, yes, of course, knight e4 is the top move, but from a human perspective, going for a passed pawn is always welcomed, knight e7, d6, guys, what's happening, what's happening, Ding is playing uh, very accurately, knight f5, knight e4, harassing the queen, queen goes to d8, queen d3, and now since queen h3 can be a threat, that's why Nepo hurried to secure uh, the edge file by putting his rook to a8. But now Dink played g4, trying to kick away the defender, and in return we have another accurate move by uh, Nepo bishop b7. If you capture on f5, then e takes f5. This is of course not good, that pin is looks ugly. That's why we have another accurate move, which is rook h3, supercomputer's top choice. Knight h4 by Nepo, g5 again the top move. Now there is no connection between the queen and the knight, it's hanging. Bishop takes e4, which is a mistake. Instead of bishop takes e4 rook, you should make rook h4 move. New variation, if for example queen g3 then here, takes for example here, here, ah ok, now there are several continuations like, I don't know, bishop f3, then e4, yeah you can always put your queen to h8 to neutralize all possible threats. Instead we have this mistake, bishop takes e4 and now let's see what's the problem with it. After 
queen takes e4, this time Nepo won, ah, sorry, Nepo played knight f5, queen takes g5 was Angie's choice, suggesting to sacrifice the piece, but yeah, sacrificing other pieces is always easier. Rook d2, another top move by Ding. Yeah, you can see how accurately Ding is playing this game, and it's really painful, very painful what Ding later did. D7, not the most popular line. Rook d3 followed by rook h3 is Angie's choice. But we have d7 by Ding. Still good. Queen takes e5, check. King h7, check. Here Ding repeated the moves in order to gain an extra... Uh, in order to, yeah, uh, get closer to 40 moves. And then we have queen c7. Yeah, queen c7. Again, a very accurate move. Queen h4. Nepo is sacrificing the rook. And you know what? He's now creating queen e4 threat, but the thing is that queen e4 check doesn't lead to a perpetual check. And in here, Nepo, uh, Ding made a serious mistake and didn't go for queen takes d8. Turns out that there is no perpetual check and here is how white can neutralize the threat. Rook e2 if check, then king d2 if check, then king d3. And, and if another check, then rook c2 here, king d2, and this is how white can win. King h7, Queen f4, yeah, and then you can go for a queen promotion, it's over. Maybe uh, Ding didn't see this line. Ah, in here, uh, there is also a queen d1 continuation where you should be ready to sacrifice an exchange. Yeah, maybe Ding didn't see this line. If here, then king e5, and if here, then check, king h7, d8, queen, and this is how white is winning. What a missed opportunity, looks very painful, of course, and so instead, yeah, we have to go a little bit further. After queen h4, instead of uh, queen takes d8, we have king d1 by ding which is allowing uh, black to equalize. Queen e7, bishop g2, b5, bishop e4, not to allow e4, knight goes to h6, queen takes a7, okay, still not bad, knight g4, and another mistake by Ding, bishop f3, so he is missing his last chance, and the best move is bishop c6. Protecting the pawn and starting to munch everything on your way. And then bishop b5, and so you can even then make use of your a-pawn. Black can't do anything. The whole problem is that when you are playing this bishop f3 move with then e4, black is managing to neutralize white light-squared bishop. So after giving up the knight, Nepo then played e4, and the light-squared bishop is neutralized. Uh, we have a total equality. Queen takes b6, and that passed pawn drops here. Queen d6 takes takes. Bishop takes e4. Ding simplified everything, and after a few more moves, we have a draw. Yeah, in here the players agreed to a draw. Uh, Ding played this game like a machine, you know, but at some point again he failed to find the right path. Instead of winning the rook. He failed to calculate, yeah, that he's uh, actually managing to avoid perpetual check. He uh, didn't capture the rook, and then the he missed bishop c6, allowed e4, that avalanche, uh, allowed that avalanche to happen, and he spoiled everything. Very, very painful. I would have liked him to win this game. This was something, uh, victory definitely he deserved in this game. So this is it dear chess lovers, hope that you enjoyed the game. Yeah, once again, that uh, 
Rook A3 was also very interesting, something which only supercomputer suggests and you won't come up by using an ordinary laptop. Looks very interesting. Thanks for watching and as usual we'll see you in my next video. Take care.